Welcome to the S4HANA Basic Reporting Skills course. By the end of this first lesson, you should be able to recognize the characteristics of using basic selection criteria for standard SAP reports. But first, let's consider the business scenario. The accounting manager has asked you to run a customer balances report and provide her with a printout of the report. However, she wants to see only certain customers while excluding others. You are new to SAP reporting, but you think you can use the basic selection criteria for this report to only include the customers requested. Being able to limit a report to specific data is a very important feature as it allows you to narrow your reporting analysis to the information you are most interested in. Basic selection criteria includes the ability to enter individual values to include or exclude within the report, enter ranges to include or exclude within the report, or a combination of individual values and ranges. You're also able to enter values with less than or greater than, as well as equal to or not equal to criteria. Let's get started. Let's begin by accessing the Information Systems folder within the SAP menu. From there, we'll navigate to the Accounting folder, next the Financial Accounting, and finally the Accounts Receivable. Let's execute the Account Balances report. This is the report's selection screen. You can use the fields on this screen to limit the report to specific data. For example, limit your report to specific customers or company codes. Note that most fields allow you to enter a range, a from and to value, such as the customer account or company code fields. Other fields, such as the search help ID field, only allow you to enter a single value. Let's run this report for a single customer now. Click in the customer account from field. Let's use customer number 69014. I do not have to specify a customer account to number. I'll just leave that field blank as it is. SAP will automatically know that I only want to run this report for a single customer number. Some other selection criteria has defaulted on this screen, such as the fiscal year and reporting periods. Let us now specify a company code. With this information specified, I can now execute the report. The report shows the data that matches the selection criteria I specified. Notice the highlighted fields. They correspond to the selection criteria I entered on the previous screen. Let's return back to the selection screen. When you enter a single value in a selection field, SAP automatically assumes that you want to include only this value in the report. In other words, it's an equal to selection. It is possible to override the default and specify other selection settings. Let's double click the customer account field. By double clicking on the customer account field, I receive a pop-up window where I can specify other selection settings, such as greater than, less than, not equal to, etc. I'm going to select the option for greater than or equal to. Notice that SAP now displays my selection settings for the field, which indicates a greater than or equal to sign in front of my selection parameter. Now let's execute the report again. As you can see, now the report includes all customer numbers that are greater than or equal to the 69014 customer number in the selected company code for which I entered. Let's return back to the main selection screen. Now, instead of entering single values like I did previously, I can also enter a range of values by specifying a from value and a to value. For example, I wish to run the customer balances report for customer numbers starting with 69014 all the way to customer number 69020. The report should now include all customers greater than or equal to 69014 up to 69020. Only these three customer numbers fulfilled that selection criteria. Let's return back once more. So far, 
we have specified a selection criteria where we wish to include certain values. However, I can also exclude certain values from the report. So let's give that a try. Double click the from value on your customer account number. This pop-up window shows that you currently have selected a range in the customer account field. The green select button also indicates that range is selected in the report. You can also exclude this same range from the report by simply clicking the Exclude From selection. By toggling to the Exclude From selection and selecting the range, we are excluding the range of customers that we have specified. By the way, the Outside Range option would allow you to exclude all values that are outside of this range, which would be the same thing as selecting to include the range. Notice that the icon in front of the customer number has changed now to indicate that this range has been excluded from the report. Let's execute the report again and see the results. As expected, the report returned results for all customers except for those within the range that I specified, which was customer number 69014 through 69020. You can see the data excludes that range of customers. Just like you have several selection options available when you want to include a specific value, you also have options to exclude this value. Let's double click the customer account number from value again. And this time we'll choose the option to exclude from selection. In this case, we will exclude the single value. Notice the icon in front of my customer number change to indicate that we will run the report for all customers except for customer 69014. And as you can see, the report returned results for all customers in company code 1710 except for that one that was excluded 69014. Click Exit to return to the selection screen and click Exit again to return to the main SAP menu. Congratulations, you have completed the first lesson and you should now understand how to recognize the characteristics of using basic selection criteria for standard SAP reports.